back. In this portion of our program, we are welcoming a representative from the Visual Arts Group at Greenspring, Sandy Grundman. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Now, this originally started out with me coming to you and saying, Sandy, I see the drawings that one of your groups does. Would you come and talk about it? And you said, but there's lots more. Yeah. <laughs> there's lots going on with visual arts at Greenspring. Right, right. And so let's start with, there's, Sandy brought with her a um, pamphlet that is available in by the art wall in Hutter's Crossing. Right. Uh -huh. And it's a really terrific pamphlet because it tells all about all the different possible art programs here and where you can join in. Now, we've got a lot of really talented artists here. We do. We you have, among them. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, we have a very active group, lots going on, um, you know, from well, my, the group that I lead is a sketch and draw group, mm -hmm. and um, I don't say, it's not a class because there's no set curriculum. I really don't have formal training in art. Mm -hmm. um, and we're looking at some, on the screen right now, oh, we're yeah. looking at some of the work of your students. Good, yeah. We do have a gallery wall in the Village Square craft room. Mm -hmm. And that's where these pictures are posted. Yes, they're wonderful. And um, mostly we work in pencil, um, just plain pencil. Uh, but sometimes we, um, some people are starting to branch out into colored pencil now. Uh -huh, I saw a few of those. Yeah. And um, so it's a group that gets together and just enjoys the process. So if, let's say if I thought, well, I'd like to just sit and draw for a little mm -hmm. while, and, and maybe I'd be halfway through something, well, I don't know how to do this, uh -huh. then you would be there to help me. Me or some of the other people in the group have so more training than, in art than I do. Right. So yeah, but that's what the group does, yeah. is, is give suggestions, support. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just somebody else who maybe can answer the mm -hmm. question or just mm -hmm. enjoy being together. Right, yeah. right. And we vary from sometimes we'll have four or five and sometimes we'll have 10 or 12. And your group. group meets? Mondays from 10 to 12 okay. in the Village Square Craft Room. Okay, so do I have to, if I want to join you, do I need to contact you ahead of time or just show up? You can just show up and, and just bring a pencil and some paper. And some paper. Yeah. And we're ready to roll. Yeah, that's yeah. good. So that's just one of many yes. groups. And there, there is an overarching, I never thought I'd really use that word in real life, but it <laughs> makes sense here, an overarching visual arts group that is, according to your slide on the Village Bridge, it says it's a planning group right. committed to enhancing creative opportunities at Greenspring. We spearhead new classes and workshops on painting, sketching, and drawing, and promote ongoing art programs. So this is right. a few people that are, are a group that says, hey, maybe we could have a watercolor group, or maybe right. we could have this. Or. Right, and Virginia Fernbach uh, is the very capable leader of that group. Mm -hmm. And um, we try to do a lot of different things. We um, encourage all the, the individual classes and, right. and studio, open studio times, workshops. Those things, there's an art historian that um, comes periodically, Joan Hart. Mm -hmm. uh, she gives fabulous lectures on different things. Um, um, she was here this fall and talked about um, Van Gogh mm -hmm. and the Japanese influence that who I knew? had. <laughs> yeah, who knew, is it right? Um, then she was here in December and gave a lecture on Monet. She's coming in the spring, and I believe it's Degas that she's going to be speaking about. So we'll watch for that in the spring. Yeah, and uh, there is a $5 charge for that one because uh, she is an outside speaker. Well worth it for what we learned from oh, her, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. So also in the spring coming up is Green Springs Art Show. Yes. Which attracts many kinds of art from people who may not necessarily be in a class just now, right? but a good way to enjoy the art and to learn about some of the different techniques that people use. Right, and uh, we, uh, Community Resources is the, the overseeing by, you know, people mm -hmm. for that. Sure. But we do try to work with them, and right. um, um, they are very kind to ask us for suggestions about sure. how to do that. 
And um, yeah, we see fabulous art oh. uh, at the art show. It's wonderful. And yeah. don't, you know, if, if you've done art and you think, oh, I'm not good enough for that, just show up, bring your art, and people will love it. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about some of the other groups we have here. There's a watercolor class. Right. And all of these, when you, when you have this pamphlet, we're not giving dates and places and hours for these, but you, know, you can, from this pamphlet, you'll have a name to contact to learn how you can join in one of these classes. So there's one for watercolor. Right. A painter's workshop. Now, what is that? That's um, Ann Sampson's group, and um, what it is is people who are working on paintings mm -hmm. go in to the um, craft room in Hunter's Crossing, and Ann uh, is there and working on her art too, mm -hmm. but she can give support or suggestions. Uh, it's, again, not a class. That, that's so true of so many groups at Greenspring. I know we have a, a quilting group, and there's a a knitting and crocheting group that you can just go and and sit and do the do what you do with others right. who do the same thing but be able to ask some questions right yeah yeah that's exactly it and it's it's great opportunity to yeah so let's paint together is with virginia is that this says studio time right and again it's a similar thing where you take your project that you're working on and you go and it yeah. and it it's just the room is reserved for that purpose, so you know that you can go and spend the time doing that. And with if other nothing folks. else, it gives you a, a reason to say, "Okay, I need to work on yeah. this, and I'm going to go mm -hmm. and learn." Mm -hmm. uh, there are pottery classes, very yeah. starting up again now that yeah. the the craft room in town center is open again. The pottery group is yes. starting up again. Yes, and they've been they've been. Uh, Hard at it in terms of, you know, when can we get back? When can oh, we get yeah. back? So they, and they just, some of their work is right yes. here on our set. They do wonderful yes, things. Yes, wonderful things. Um, and what else? I'm looking at what else was here on the, of course, the art wall. And the art wall this month is wonderful because it's from many, many artists. Yes. So yes. you can see the wide variety of wonderful talent we have here. Yes, normally the art wall in Hunter's Crossing is one artist. But this time it is. It's many. Uh, it's many. Yeah, and including one photographer, which is yes. also art. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's some pottery in the niches, and there's some needlework in one of the yes. niches, anyway. Yeah, we're showing, showing some of those on the screen right oh, now. Oh, right. Yeah. Good. I went over and took pictures of them. All, all. right. Yeah, and they're just beautiful. They are. Uh, quite a, and quite a variety. There's yeah. oils, there's. I love uh, the cow, he's my favorite. <laughs> Uh, yeah, color pencil, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so there's just it's a just lot to, of different... You know, I, I think part of this, for so many of, I won't say me because I've never been an artist, but, but people who maybe drew or enjoyed art in school and then, you know, life got in the way and 50 mm -hmm. or 60 mm -hmm. years passed and think, I wonder if I could still draw. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a chance to find out and, Absolutely. and just go down and do it. There was a lady who... I think she's, she's now left us, but she lived in um, Parkview. Who wor her job was, her, her name was Sylvia. Her job when she was working was that she was an illustrator for the Department of Agriculture. But I would, I, a couple of times I sat beside her, behind her at a concert, and she was just sketching away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, artists are people who need to draw. Yeah, and yeah. she was just always sketching something. Or a lot of people who... You know, I've always loved to draw, but, you know, it wasn't a way to make money. Right. So, you still so, had to put food on the table. Yeah. yeah. So they had to put it aside. Yeah. And, it's and, a time to come yeah. back. Mm -hmm. I did notice on, on the, the overarching uh, visual arts group, it says, we accept the following donation, unused watercolor, mm -hmm. drawing, and sketching paper, small canvases, watercolor, acrylic and oil paint, paints, and clean paint brushes. Right. So that's just to help people get started if they didn't have a way to purchase supplies. Yes. And we do have several things that have been donated. And um, um, so we're, we're looking at a way to, you know, kind of um, get those out to people. Right. Where that's still kind of in the, yeah. in the works. We haven't Good. quite figured out how the ins and outs of all that. But, um, but yes. If you have something you'd like to donate, you can get a hold of me or Virginia Fernbach. Okay. And uh, yeah, 
Um, another thing we have coming up in the spring is um, a, I think we're calling it a sip and paint. Sip and paint. Yes. That, that seems to be the new thing here at yes. Green Springs, sipping on something <laughs> while doing something else. Yeah, so, um, and some of those art supplies I think we are going to incorporate into that. Okay, but so we'll look for publicity about that. Diane Frickman is going to be okay. uh, teaching that one. So. Good. Yeah, that'll be a one-time thing. So. Well, thank you for sharing all of this with us. You're welcome. So if you're interested in drawing, get up, get out of your apartment, painting whatever, and find a group that you can join and, and get with some other people, which is the most important part of it. Right. The right. social aspect is excellent.